Good morning, everybody. You are currently listening to A Tall Girls podcast hosted by a tall girl named India. I hope you're having a stellar day today before I get into this episode because, you know, it is an interesting one. If you read the title, make sure you are following me on my socials at a tall girls podcast on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest so that you can stay up to date on all of the latest podcast episodes from a tall girls podcast and check out some super hilarious, super relatable tall girl content. It'll all be linked below in the description box. And underneath those, you will also see a link to leave me a review. So make sure you do that and let me know how tall you are because I'm curious. How tall are my listeners? Now, as you could tell by today's title, I will be revealing my new height to you all. Yes, I have a tall girl story time for you guys. Went to the doctor finally after how many months of finding out that you know i wasn't as tall as i said i was or should i say wasn't as short as i said i was because i am taller than that now it's crazy to me but if you are new here or you just don't remember i did an episode way back when another tall girl story time talking about how i am taller than i've been claiming to me it was about me going to the chiropractor and (laughs) it was just embarrassing but found out that I've been standing terribly my entire life I have lateral and anterior pelvic tilt so I was sleeping sitting standing whatevering terribly and that negatively affected my posture causing me to sleep stand sit and all that crooked aka I was never in my full height ever well until now because now i'm standing properly i'm standing much better and you know we're getting it together we're getting it together and i did say in that episode that i had to go to the doctor to find out my new height which i finally 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 did recently how many months ago was that episode i'm thinking like beginning of the year type Because what are we in? We're in October. I have a feeling like March or April. I don't even know. (laughs) But it was so long ago when I finally got around to do it. Oh my gosh. It's terrible. But now I have a story time for you guys for, you know, all of this stuff that's going on. So for the past six months, I would say, I don't know, am I mathing correctly? Around that time, I have tried to get a doctor's appointment. I've tried so hard. Oh my gosh. And, you know, I've really been struggling. My previous doctor, I had an appointment with her for August, I think. And three, because that was her only available time. And when did I make that appointment? I think I made it like two months before. These doctors have been busy these days. Stay safe out there, y'all. But... Three days before the appointment, she calls me and tells me that she has retired and I won't be able to, you know, visit her. Three days before my appointment, homegirl couldn't wait three more days. Come on. Why did you have to retire? And, you know, she wasn't even that old. She was pretty young. I think she was like in her 40s or 50s. She had a good amount of time left, a few more years left in her career before, you know, she'd probably want to retire. I mean, that is her own practice, so she could retire whenever she wants, I know. And I guess she's just making or made that much money that she doesn't even have to worry about it anymore. But dang, three more days, you can complete all of the set appointments that you had first. And then if new patients were calling or if people tried to book new appointments, that's when you tell them like, yeah, like I'm retiring, like I'm, I can't see you. Like all of your old stuff, I feel like should have been fulfilled. And then you just prevent any new people from coming in or anybody making new appointments. Not me giving her business advice, but I guess she just wanted to leave because she just wasn't having it. But it was pretty, it was pretty ghetto. So me and my mom are just 
sitting there because I told her and we're just like what do we do now so for the next few weeks we were calling like all of the doctors that were under her insurance that were that we are covered by her insurance for you know whatever you know what I mean we were calling all of these doctors and trying to set up appointments and these people are either saying they're booked up, they're super full, they can't take any more patients, or they're out of business. Terrible, terrible. So fast forward to literally, what, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, I don't remember, but it was a couple weeks ago. My dad actually found a doctor who was across the street from where he works, how convenient, and is willing to accept new patients. So, you know, there's a light at the end of the tunnel here, at least so I thought. So we're like that, you know, we filled out the paperwork, well, virtual paperwork and set up our appointments because he was also going to see the doctor too. Now, seeing this doctor was just a hassle. It was a string of bad luck. And so the first time I show up, the receptionist told me yeah it was going to be a four hour wait before the doctor could see me four hours and i'm just confused because you know the receptionist said that yeah she's running a little behind you know she's super busy with patients and stuff like that and i'm like first of all it doesn't even look chaotic it's super quiet in here i don't hear anybody rushing around going crazy going insane and there's literally one other person sitting in the waiting room like is she really that busy but no it was my first time i did not know these people so i was like whatever okay but you know you couldn't tell me before I came all the way up here for my appointment. Whatever. Luckily, I didn't have too much to do that day. So I just rescheduled my appointment for the following week. You know, so fast forward to that. I showed up to that appointment that day, I signed in, all that good stuff, waited to be called in. I waited a whole 35 minutes, but I guess she was busy again. And eventually a lady, I'm assuming the assistant, because it wasn't the actual doctor, I guess it was like her assistant. You know those people that take all your vitals um, and stuff, but they don't actually see you because they're not the doctor. So that type of person came in and took me to one of the rooms. And she was doing the standard stuff, like the vitals, like the blood pressure, heart rate, etc., etc. But then she finally, took me to get my height measured. And I was like, yes, this is what I've been waiting for for so long. This is literally all I wanted. Like, do I really need an annual? I mean, I do. We all do need our annual checkups. Make sure you schedule an appointment with your doctor if you're listening to this right now, because you need to get your annual checkup and make sure that your body is like functioning properly. Okay, make sure everything is going well. But I just did not care about the checkup. I just wanted to know how tall I was. And quite frankly, I really could have probably just measured my height on my own, but you know, I feel like it's more credible when a doctor does it because you know, they know what they're doing or so I thought. So we go over to the measuring thingy, you know, the thing that's a scale and I don't want to say a ruler, but an over glorified ruler (laughs) that measures height. And, you know, I stand on it. I stand up straight and properly, you know, because we were standing terribly and crooked our entire lives. I made sure this time that I was not standing crooked. I was standing up straight, you know, make sure my hips were in line and whatnot. And mind you, this lady was max five feet tall. She was not, she was not the tallest and she was not the most average height head person if that even makes sense she was a good foot (laughs) or around there shorter than me so she's struggling to reach the top of my head you know how the ruler thingy on the measuring thingy has to lay flat on your head she was having a hard time she was on her tippy toes and she was trying not to get on the scale with me 
because that would just make everything lopsided and everything chaotic. And I guess she just did not have a stool with her. I would have definitely, I should have recommended that she get a stool or something or a chair, but you know what? It is what it is. I was just trying to figure out how tall I was. She was not doing well, okay? So after 10 minutes of her struggling, she says, you're 6'2". I'm like, huh? <laughs> I thought that I didn't even hear that correctly. So I asked her, did you say I was 6'2"? And she was like, yeah, you're 6'2". First thing that popped into my head is no one could tell me that I am not tall anymore. Y'all be saying, oh, 5'10 isn't that tall. Try 6'2". Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear anything from anyone today. I'm officially tall in everybody's book. Okay. Not just mine, everybody, the whole entire population. Don't play with me anymore. So I'm on Gideon stuff. For some reason, I don't even know why I'm on Giddy. I guess I was like, yeah, I'm six two. I'm over six feet. I never thought this day would actually come. And I feel, I just felt like it was a great accomplishment. Okay. Don't, don't attack me. I just felt like it was an accomplishment. So I go to the back of the room and I'm texting literally everyone I know. Y'all, I'm 6'2". I'm 6'2". We love that. All that good stuff. Until I hear a conversation outside the door and it was another lady. And the lady was like, she's 6'2"? And then the first lady that measured me was like, yeah, she's 6'2". And then the other lady was like, uh... Uh uh, I don't think so. Are you sure? And then we were just going back and forth, back and forth. So then a, the second lady, the separate lady, comes in there and is like, hey, can we measure you again? I'm like, damn. Are y'all really about to rain on my parade? So she takes me over the different lady, takes me over to the measuring thingy. And she's taller than the first one. Like, I would say she's probably like five, six ish. You know, she's a couple inches taller than the other one. So it's easier for her to measure my height. So she measures me, and I'm just hoping and praying, like, oh my gosh, like six two, like six two, you know, six two, like, are you gonna say I'm six two? And she says, you're five ten <laughs> and a half. <laughs> I felt so disappointed. I don't even know why, but I just felt so much disappointment after that. You know, you guys have me sitting here like I apparently grew four inches, four whole inches after I stopped growing two and a half years ago. I don't know what math the first one was doing, but you know, at least I could say I was 6'2 for like 20 minutes. <laughs> And, you know, I should have just thought better because my dad is 6'1", and there is no way I was taller than him, like, at all. I was not taller than him, but here I was thinking I was 6'2", and actually believed it. And, you know, that actually raises an important question. Should a tall person be measured or get their height measured, whatever, whatever, by someone who is significantly shorter than them. Should a tall person get measured by somebody who's what, like almost a foot shorter? Because keep in mind, she was maximum five feet tall trying to measure somebody who was five, ten and a half. You really think the measurement is going to be accurate? You know, the way she was struggling, I was a little bit concerned. So you just never know. So I don't know, maybe I should have just asked for a new person to measure me from the get go. You know, I'll know for next time, but why even know for next time? I'm completely done growing. So the next time they measure my height, they're just gonna say the same exact thing as the second lady said. But it is what it is. I thought it was a funny story, but yeah, I am no longer 5'10", I'm now 5'10 and a half a whole half inch taller. We love that, but hey, I don't even know <laughs> what to say after that. Like I'm just five, 10 and a half. It sounds so weird to say that. Does that mean I round up? Should I round up to 5'11"? 
I don't know. I feel like that's a little bit of a reach. I'm reaching a little too much at that. I don't need to go all crazy with, yeah, I'm 5'11", when I'm really 5'10". And just, it's 5'10 and a half. But I'm no longer 5'10", so I have to say I'm 5'10 and a half. But anyways, ain't that something? That's crazy. But yeah, the doctor actually never showed up. <laughs> I went back into the room the second after the second time that um, I got measured. And I remember looking at the clock. It was like 1240 something. It was like 1241. And, you know, my appointment was for 1130. And they took me in at like 1205-ish, I would say. And, you know, the whole fiasco with getting my vitals and, you know, figuring out how tall I am and all that good stuff. And homegirl just had me sitting there until 2.45. What is that? Two hours? My appointment. She was like three, a good three hours late. And she had me sitting in a room for over two hours. Really? And you know what I did? I was really contemplating leaving. So before I left, I was going to go to her office and see like if she was in there and be like, hey, you know, did you forget you had a patient? So I go over to her door and I hear on the phone with somebody. I was like, okay, I'll just like wait for the phone call. And so she's going on and on and on and on and on about, I don't know, breast cancer or something like that, which is very important. I shouldn't really downplay that. But, you know, I was very aggravated at the time. So she ends the call and I'm like, great, I'm about to go in. But then she says, oh, hi, Nelly. And I was like, what? First of all, somebody's named Nelly. And second of all, it's like, she's just taking all of these phone calls and she had a patient in from 1130 and it's 245. Like you couldn't accommodate for that. You couldn't set your schedule around that. Like, you know, you could have been smarter about this. You could have seen me first and then take all your phone calls. Or, you know, if you were busy, you could have just came and told me instead of me wasting my time. Well, I mean, it wasn't a waste of time because at least I found out my new height, but I still waited two and a half hours. I was scrolling through TikTok, by the way, follow me at a tall girls podcast, but I was scrolling through TikTok for two hours when I could have been like sleeping or eating. So I, at that point, I was just not having it. So I just walked out without saying anything. I didn't say anything to the receptionist, didn't say anything to the doctor, didn't say anything to the two ladies that took my height. I just left and walked out and they haven't even called me since. So their time is most definitely not going to be a charm because there is not going to be a third time at all. And yeah, on to the next one, I guess. I still need to get my checkup. (laughs) I have not gotten that. So I need to get my checkup, but hey, at least I know my new height. So yeah, five, ten and a half. There you go. There's the big height reveal. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this story time. It was a very, very intense, interesting one. I wouldn't even call it intense. It was just really weird. So if you are five, ten and a half and listening to this, hit me up because we are officially height twins. And all the people that I told that were five, ten, that we were high twins we are no longer high twins i'm high twins of the people who are five ten and a half so if you're five ten and a half hit me up at a tall girls podcast on instagram tiktok and or pinterest be like hey girl i'm also five ten and a half that is so cool and i'll be like yay yeah no let's stop you know <laughs> anyways i hope you enjoyed this episode thank you so much for listening this far into the episode you know i feel like i was just rambling at some point but hey it's a podcast we're here for a good time not a long time i don't even know how that relates but i think i'm just gonna stop here final words you are awesome you are enough you are amazing and i really do hope that you have an amazing day week month year life and i will catch you in the next one good night and goodbye